In this segment, we're going to take a closer look at the different view options. And most of those are found here on your desktop on the toolbar at the top. And so, for example, if I just come to this toolbar, you can see that the first option is display stitches. And if I turn that on or off, so these are like on off buttons. And right now, they're all turned on. If I go ahead and click on this, it will turn it off. And you'll notice that it basically hides all of the stitches in the design. It leaves a small outline for the objects that have been created, but it hides the stitches. And simply, you can see now that stitches is turned off. If I click on that again, display stitches, it shows the stitches. So next to that, we have the visualizer option. If I turn, click on visualizer, it will make my stitches um, into just more like thinner computer lines. And when you turn visualizer back on, it thickens those lines up and emulates the actual appearance of embroidery thread. Now this one here is display images and display vectors. Um, we don't currently have any images on the screen. Why don't we go ahead and just quickly choose an image so that you can see how that works. So I'll say in image, insert image. Um, looking in the folder embroidery album, I'm just going to choose some piece of artwork. So we'll, we'll select this moon. How's that? And say OK or open. So it brings it into my screen. As you can see, it puts it right behind the little bunny. Maybe I'll just move it off and imagine creating an embroidery design with this little bunny. And now it's going to have a moon in it. Anyway, the button up here is display images. So if I click on this, it hides the image. And if I click on it again, it'll show the image. And the next button beside that is called display vectors. And again, I don't currently have any vectors in this design. So why don't I pop over quickly into my graphics mode and just choose the simple rectangle option and draw a little rectangle. So there I have a vectorized rectangle. Why don't I fill it in with blue? And why don't I give it a little thicker outline? So we'll choose um, a four point outline on that, something like that. Now I'm just, I'm not gonna convert it to embroidery. I'm just gonna switch back over to um, gra embroidery mode. And so now you can see here that if I look, I'll zoom in a little bit closer here. We've got a bunny embroidery design, we've got a BMP image over here, and we've got a vector over here. So if I click on hide vectors, it hides that vectorized artwork. If I click on hide images, it hides the image. They're still there, they're just hidden. So for example, if I click on display vectors, there's the vectors. If I click on display images, there's the images. And the next one is display grid. So again, if I click on that, it gets rid of the grid in the background of my hoop. So if I show you a little closer, there's no grid. If I click on display grid, it'll show it again. Now, the next one is called display applique fabric. So maybe well, what I could do is just quickly digitize a small piece of applique shape. And then I will um, select that applique and choose to have fabric displayed. So I'm going to choose a custom piece of fabric. You can browse through um, you know, different types of fabric that are pre-available that came with the software. And when I say OK, now you can see that the applique fabric is being just shown within the um, object that I created. And this button, display applique fabric, will hide that or show that. Yeah, so now something else. So this, okay, so that's these buttons. The last one is to hide or show your embroidery hoop. And I think I'll just leave the hoop off for a minute and I'm gonna zoom in over top of the bunny. Um, if I look under the drop down menu for view, you'll find that all of these um, options that we just looked at now, you can see the ones that are have tools because it shows that there's a tool beside the option in the drop down menu. And here's one that doesn't have a tool. It's called display needle points. Now, if I turn display needle points on, we won't currently be able to see the needle points because they don't display when you have the visualizer turned on. But if I turn the visualizer off, you'll be able to see right away what the needle points look like. And why don't I just zoom in even more closely over part of the design. And so the needle points became these little white dots. If I was to go view display needle points and click on it again, 
It hides them, turns them off. So all I can see are the actual stitch lines. But if you choose View, Display Needle Points, it will show you every needle penetration in the design. So that's a little bit more about um, some of these different settings. Now, for example, the um, the hoop option, which I've I turned the hoop off mainly because the darker background makes it a little bit easier to see these needle points. If I turn my hoop back on, I can still see them. It's just that the light colored background of my hoop makes it a little bit more difficult to notice those. Um, but that button show hide hoop, the hoop that it's going to show is from your selection list. So for example here, um, I have my machine set at the MC12000. So if I click on this option, I can choose from the list of hoops that are available for the MC12000. So if I choose this um, SQ14 hoop, it will show me that specific embroidery hoop. And if you change your embroidery machine, so if you have an MC11000, well then the hoops become specifically the hoops for the MC11000. So why don't I choose the ST hoop? And you have the ability to choose not only from the different Genomi embroidery machines, but you can actually have um, another brand of embroidery machine and then the hoops become the hoops that you create. So right now there's only one hoop in this list, but I will be under the setup. We'll talk in a moment under the setup drop down menu how we have the ability to create our own embroidery hoops. So if you use a different brand of embroidery machine, you can create all of your own specific hoop sizes for use with the digitizer software. So that's more about the different ways that you can um, choose the different view options for your designs using digitizer software.